in part C, I've just copied the key map that we've made over from part A or part B. Because it's going to be the same thing, we have the same variables. And so we can start plugging in values. We are given the product of sum form and we need to optimize this and then find the sum of products form that is also optimized. So looking at this, we have an A0 plus a B0 plus a D. We know that since we're dealing with products of sums, we are going to be placing zeros in here initially instead of ones as we would pro sum of products. So we are looking at our A0 row, looking at the B0 row, and then looking at the D0 columns. This means that we can only have a zero here and a zero here. I'm sorry, we should be looking at the D columns. So we'll have a zero here and a zero here. Next, we're going to be looking at A0 plus D0. So we have our A0, we have our D0. So we'll have a zero here, zero here, zero here, and a zero here. Next, we are going to be looking at A plus B plus D0. So with our A, we are going to be in this row. We are going to be in this row specifically, and then our D naughts are going to be down here. So it's going to look like this. And then lastly, we have this A plus B naught plus C plus D. So we have our A row, we have our B naught row, so it's going to be somewhere in here, but we need to be on the C side, so it's gonna be here, and we can only be in D, so it's going to be right here. So these are all our zeros, and now we can write our uh, POS for it. So we'll have P dot O dot S. And then this is going to be equal to, well, let's solve for this. We have all these zeros up here. So with all these zeros right here, we can say that, well, we have an A naught. Remember, we're solving for, or we're optimizing our POS product of sum. So we have parentheses, the sum, and then parentheses with the other sums in them. We are going to have our A naught in here, and then we are going to have a plus B naught. And that is how that is going to look and we can't involve the C's or the D's because they're just broken out between all of them. So that is it for that one. Next, we are going to look at the other ones. Well, we have this one here, this one here, this one here, and this one here. And so we're going to use these to find the next one. We can see that we cannot use the A0 because, well, I mean, they're in different A's. So we can't use the A either. We can use the B because we can see that they're both in the B rows. So we're going to have a B plus, and we can use the D naught as well for the same reason. We'll have a D naught in here. Next, we have this little guy right here, and we're gonna be pairing him with this one up here. And so in our parentheses, we are going to have a, well, we'll have a C. We can't have an A because they're in separate A's. Uh, we can't have a, or actually we can have a B because it's going to be in this B and this B naught. So when we write this out, we're going to have a B naught plus our C plus our D. So that is going to be the product of some form that is optimized. Now we are going to solve for the sum of products, and this is the S dot O dot M. And to solve for the sum of products, well, we're just going to plug in our ones in here. So we have a one here, one here, one here, one here, and lastly a one here. Before we solve for this, I did also forget a 1 here, so we should have a 1 right here as well. So now solving for our SOP, we're going to partner this one up with this one, and this one with this one. So we can't use the A's because they're obviously broken up. We can use the B's, so we're going to have our B in here. Oh, we should also say that this is F uh, with the bar over it is equal to B. Um, because, well, we're going to get to that in a second. We got to it in the last video, but we'll explain it again. So we have the B row, and we can't use the C's, but we can use the D, so we're going to have the D here. And then we have the two right here, and of course I would forget another one. There should also be a one right here. It's just a little confusing to see with the lines. But now we have finally gotten all of our ones. So now that we know that, we can look at this and see, well, we have three ones here. What can we do to solve for them? Well, we know we can't combine these two because of the differences here. Let's try combining these two. So in combining these two, we will have a plus. It's in our A row, it's in our B naught row, and it's in the C naught columns. It can't be in the D naughts because those are kind of separate. And now we are going to look at this next one. Well, for this next one, we have this one right here. We have to find something to pair it with. You know, we can't pair it with this one, 
So what we can do instead is pair with this one. They're similar. So these are going to be in the same row. We have a plus, and then it's going to be an A, and then we have our B naught because it's in the B naught row. And then we're going to have our D naught because it's in the D naught columns. We can't use C because they are separated. So that is what that is going to look like. Now, with the kind of knot overhead, we talked about this earlier, with this right here, we are going to have to put a knot over each of them. Not like when we did sum of products. When we did sum of products and we were converting to the POS, we put a knot over the whole thing. But when we are converting from POS to sum of products, we are just going to have a knot over each of the individual ones. So when we write this out, we're going to get that our SOM is that our F is a B naught times a D naught plus an A naught times a B times a C plus an A naught times a B times a D. And this is going to be the product of some form for this. That was big, broken up into three videos that we are done with this section after the next video. And that covers optimization and sum to products, product sums, and all of this Boolean algebra.